Hi there. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the FET projectile motion simulation. This is a simulation that's available online for free from the University of Colorado. And uh, it consists of a cannon which shoots a projectile. And we can use this to analyze projectile motion because it uses the same equations that we would in calculating you know, the path of projectiles. Uh, so what you have here is, here's your cannon right here. And I can show you I'm just going to show you how to adjust some things. And if you grab and click uh, and drag on the end of this, you can adjust the, the angle of the, the cannon right here. And you can also adjust it by up here in the um, uh, angle or degree box. You can put a specific angle that you want. Notice zero degrees means horizontal. And you can also adjust the height of your platform. So you can click and drag this cannon up and down. Also, you can also move it left and right. So if you want to set this to a specific height, well, you can do that. You drag it up, but you need to use this tape measure over here. So this tape measure is a really handy tool. It can measure horizontal distances, and if you grab the end, bring it up here, you can measure vertical also. So let's put this right at the edge of the platform over here and put this right on the axes, the horizontal axes of the cannon. Notice there's a little cross here here for the cannon and some a large set of axes, vertical and horizontal. So right here is the starting point. That's where the cannonball is going to start from. So we're at um, about 10.17 meters in height. And we have a target that we can move around that you can put wherever you want. You can even put it in the middle, middle of the air. Um, but notice the ground level is right here. So you want to put that pretty much straight across from there. And that's about it. You can set the initial velocity from which the projectile is fired from the cannon by setting a number there. It can be anything. I can just click on this, type in 15 maybe. Why not? Um, you can adjust the mass of your projectile, the diameter of the projectile, and that comes into effect when you have air resistance. We're going to try this without air resistance first. And um, you can use whatever. Let's just try a, um, a tank shell. There's other things you can choose here, including a bowling ball, pumpkin, and a piano. So it's a tank shell. We just click fire. Let's turn on some sound. Why not? Click fire. And we missed the target, but hey, we didn't we didn't calculate anything, so I'm not too disappointed. Um, you get a looks like you get a crosshair at every uh, in, integer second. So one second, it was right here. Let's see if we do something like this, for example. Let's make this go a little. Well, that's fine. 15, and we'll do fire. One second, two seconds, three seconds. So it looks like it's in the air of three and a half seconds. Yep, there it is three and a half seconds. And uh, that's about it. I don't know what um, Statue of David is doing here, but he's there. Uh, so you can adjust again. You can adjust the, the height of the, um, the cannon. You can adjust the angle. You can adjust the tape measure to predict your range here. And you can adjust the position of your target. OK, have fun.